Hey guys, what's up? Today what I'll be teaching you is a game called Boat Race where your boat goes through a maze and tries to get to the finish line. Now let's get started. First of all, we're going to choose our sprite. You can choose any sprite you want, but I'm going to choose the sailboat. There it is. Now let's get on with our background. You're going to come over to the bottom left corner and then click the paintbrush. Then what you're going to do is you're going to create your maze. I want mine to be of the sea, so I'm going to make it a blue background. Then I'm going to make the actual maze now. Oop, too thin. You can make the width of your maze bigger and smaller, or easier, or harder. Outside bits done. Then. There, and there. Now I'm gonna make the final place where I finish. Now let's fill it with yellow. There we are, now I have my final place. Let's go back to here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna select the sailboat by clicking on it. You're gonna come over to events, drag out when green flag clicked, Come over to motion, drag out point and direction, 90. You're gonna press the black arrow next to the 90 and choose zero. Then you're gonna come over to this button and make your boat smaller. How you're gonna do that is on the gray menu bar, there is a button with the four arrows pointing in and you're gonna click on that and then you're gonna click on the boat to your desired size. And then I'm gonna drag out, go to negative 64 and negative 116, X and Y. And these are my coordinates, but yours will be different as your sprite will be in a different place. Now I'm gonna come over to control, drag out the forever block, then back to motion, drag out, point towards mouse pointer and drag out move 10 steps. Then you're gonna change the steps, 10 steps to one step and let's see what it does. Maybe a little too slow so I'm gonna change the one to a two and there is my desired speed. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to control, drag out the if then block and put it in the forever block. Then you're gonna come over to operators and drag out this green block. This one here has the arrow pointing right. I'm gonna put that in there and then come over to sensing and drag out distance to mouse pointer. And then the other white square, you're gonna type in five. Now let's see what it does. See, it stops, but before it made this weird thing. So let's see what it does if it didn't. See, look at that, that doesn't look nice. So if we put that in, it stops it. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to costumes, right click on the boat and duplicate it. Now this is where the fun begins. This is where you start chopping up your boat to make it look like it's crashed. Now let's come back to the scripts, okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to control and drag out another if then block. Then you're gonna come over to sensing, drag out touching color block. Where the block of color is, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on that and then click on the color of your maze. Then you're gonna come over to looks. The first block, drag that out and that says say hello for two seconds. Change hello to no and change two to one second. And then you're gonna do switch costume to sailboat two, which is the chopped up one. Then you're gonna come out and do switch costume to sailboat one. If you come back to motion and drag out point in direction zero and duplicate the first coordinates you got. Now let's see what happens. No, and then it comes back again. Okay, looks like that's working. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come over to control and drag out another if then block, put it in the forever block, come over to sensing, and then drag out the touching color block again, click the color block, and then click your final place where mine is, the yellow sand. And I come over to looks, drag out the first block which says say hello for two seconds, 
change hello to yay we made it come to control drag out stop all now let's see what it does yay we made it now for the final thing we're going to come over to events drag out when green flag is clicked now we're going to come over to data and we're going to make a variable called time press ok ok now we're going to do set time to zero come over to control forever wait 0 0.1 seconds come back to data and then change time by one now let's see what this does as you can see this final thing we just did is timing us to see how long we can take to get to the end and this is where you can challenge your friends to see who has the fastest so that is all for today and don't forget to like and subscribe down below can't wait to see you next time for more bye now